Yes, an, in, an interest to democracy, Colin can be banned. In the interest of democracy? Aye. But he's not a Democrat. Well, I think He's so. a Nazi. But it, it gives you some debate, and sometimes I don't think you handle it too well. Don't think I handle it too well? No. Don't be silly. So you can't go I banning can, Colin? I can deal with Colin with both hands tied behind my back. Right, uh, we'll see about that. In, in that case, you don't ban him then. Yeah. If you can deal with him so I've well, you can't ban him. I've dealt with him on numerous occasions. I'm fed up with him now. Nelson. Hey, McClure. Nelson, how should you call him? McClure. Yeah. She call him. Yeah. Charlie Barnum. Why not? Because your show would be really crap. No, listen, the listen, only reason listen. that my show is crap okay, is listen. when you're on it. Listen. Robert. <laughs> yes, Robert. All right, Scotty. All right, Robert. James. Hello. Hello, James. I have a joke for you, Scotty. A wee joke, yes. What do you call a Skoda halfway up a hill? Philly. Hello, Scotty. Yes. I think you shouldn't ban Colin because he makes your show. Oh, don't be stupid. Liz. Hello, Scotty. I think you should ban Colin for life. Right, dear. Because he has anything but funny. I agree. He's a pain in the neck. Completely. And anybody that wants to keep him coming on the show should be banned as well because they're as stupid as him. Absolutely. You're quite right. Liz, you've talked nothing but sense. Simon. Simon? Hi. Hi. Hi, Scotty. I would like to talk about uh, nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts, right? You talk about nuts and bolts. Dougie. Hi, McClure. It's a bit common. Miss, <laughs> hey, Mr. McClure to you. Don't be coming on here, hi, McClure, thinking you're Jack the Lad. Okay, because I won't have people coming on here thinking they're Jack the Lad. Scotty. Tim. Hello, Scotty. Yes. How are you doing, my man? I'm dinky, sir. Well, so there's a few bomb bombs on this morning, there eh? There have been one or two, Jim, yes. You know, I think they're on the Gabby water this morning, Scotty. I think they're on the, uh, they're, they're on the electric soup. Well, so I agree with everything you say. You're a great guy, by the way, and you're doing a great job here on the radio show. You're a wonderful uh, man yourself. This guy, uh, Scott, Scotty, whatever you call him. I would, I would get Colin, is it? Colin. Colin, right, sorry, we've got mixed up there. I'm Scotty. You're Scotty. Ah, yeah, right. I'm off the show. Scotty, ban Just him for life. Ban him, finish him. There's a few idiots on this morning, I think we could do the same with him as well, like. Dump him in we, the we bin. We don't need him on the show. Yeah, it's good chat chat. we don't need all these bam bam We don't up. need all that rubbish, you're quite right. Linda, Joe. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Joe. Hi. I'd like a question to you or to the nation, Scotty. Anything for you, Joe? Yes, sir. Can you remember, or M, do you remember the last time there was a blue moon? Once in a blue moon? Yes. Right, I've only... The last time there was a blue moon was the last time I had sex. Oh, you, you're, you're a lucky man. I reckon about 1950, Scotty. That would be about right. Right, give us a call, folks. 0990 Oh, Scotty. Yes. I think that call should get a wife. He should get a wife? Uh, or a life? A wife. A wife? Uh, Pamela. Oh, are you there, Paul? Hey. Yes. Uh, welcome, Hamilton. A wee joke for you. The Falcons in the field. What was in holiday? Uh, the one with the wee calf. Correct. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Scotty? How are you, dear? Oh, fine, thank you. The man that just phoned about the blue moon. 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 Yes. It was 1948. 1948? Yes. With a blue moon. Uh, what is a blue moon, then? Well, the moon was blue. I don't know why. The moon was blue. They said it was a forest fire in Canada that caused it. A forest fire? Jonathan. Hi, Scotty. Yeah. See, people like Colin and Stephen. Yeah. Now, Stephen's actually me again, right? But listen to me, Scotty, right? Oh, you listen, you're a bad man. You need Colin and me. Why don't you, you need shove us. off? You need us. Why don't you, you need shove us. off? We're fed you up with us. you. Your show's crap. Fed up with you. Kevin. Good, good morning to you, Scotty. Yes. Um, I was listening, this is Jim from Playbank, by the way. I was recalling on a couple of calls ago, and he was complaining about dogs and doing a tunnel all over the place. Yeah. Well, I, I thought of a wee solution. I thought maybe... A wee solution that cleans it up? No, well, well, can I just tell you? Yeah. Well, I thought, you know, since you maybe talk so much crap, Eddie. Right, give us a call, folks. Oh, Donald. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Donald. I'm one of these grandas. A granda? Aye. Uh, you cut the, the fellow off there that was listening to his granda. They get his backside shot off for protecting people like you when you are growing up in Mary Hill. When I was growing up in Mary Hill? Ah, well, that's what you said. You were... I wasn't even born. Well, <laughs> I don't doubt it. So don't start all this war stuff. Oh, excuse me, Scotty. There's an awful lot of people, uh, age-wise of myself, who get their backside shot off for the likes of you. 
No, 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 it didn't for the likes of me. I wasn't born. Right? I well, wasn't you may born. No, I've been born if it hadn't been for the likes of me. Nonsense. Nonsense? Absolute rubbish. I would have been born anyway. Would you? You did nothing for me. I did nothing for you. No. No. All the old age pensioners, the people and two world wars did nothing for the light for you. They did nothing for me. Well, Scotty, just you listen. If we did nothing for you, you wouldn't be opening, sitting in that show, opening your gab now. Where would I be? You'd be possibly in a camp in Belson. Rubbish. Rubbish. I've never heard so much nonsense talked in my life. No. That's what you old boys always... A lot of you old boys have traded hey, in hey. this for 50 years. Hey, You're hey, getting hey. free drinks and everything. Hey. Free, 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 free drinks free. standing at the bar. I fought for you. Oh, get another dram for this man then. Well, you have me bought me one. <laughs> but that's what you'd be after. That's what you'd be after. Well, I might well because you're a nice man. Listen. But don't go give me all this how you fought for me and all that. I've had all that rubbish all my days. Yeah, we... here. Hi, Scotty. Hello. I don't think you should ban Colin. Why not? Oh, he likes to get... Can I keep you going a wee bit, doesn't he? Keep you going? <laughs> He's a nightmare. No, he's not. He's an absolute pest. No, I mean, come on. He just likes to kind of wind you up a wee bit. Wind you up? Well, nobody's got any right to wind me up. George. Oh, Scotty. Yes, George. Yeah, you, you, your show's the best thing ever happened to Scotland. If people listen to you, they'd have a part of me that wind their education. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's magic. You can all wind around the knowledge of things and it's happening. You get all the grass to chat. All the grass to chat, aye. That's what was needed for a long time. Bless you. It was. Thank, thank you, you thank you for that. Christine, Steph. Scotty, just like to say that Colin's a numpty. He's a numpty. Thank you, Steph. That's a fair point. Freddy. Freddy. Freddy's busy driving a tank, so we'll let him go. Ross. <coughs> Paul. Hello, Scotty. Yes, Paul. Uh, I phoned up during the, the middle of the week. Yes. It was Tuesday, I think it was. Right, I can't, actually, I can't actually remember when you phoned, Paul. Colin. Hello, oh, Scotty. Yes. It's good to see that the nation's mainly coming down on the side of intelligence oh, for now, me. Colin, would you push off? I'm just getting thoroughly fed up with you now. You're an absolute dunderhead. You're a Richard head. You give nothing to the show, right? I you have no intelligence. Show, and we actually don't want you on here. Now, why don't you go and phone another radio station? One second. Why are folk nervous about speaking to a half like you? I mean, they Listen. must be Quarterwit. Look, I'm really getting a well, bit are, fed up with you, wit. right? A quarter <laughs> wit is you. Because I never. You're actually a dimwit. Like you. You're a dimwit. Yeah. Right? I wouldn't trust you to sit the right way around in the lavatory. And that guy, Stephen, I think it's a, it's a mutual admiration. Now, nobody decide. wants you on here, Colin. They do. Look, right? I've, nobody I've wants you on here. You, no, you've had no support. support. Right? You'd get more support yeah. signing on round at the door than you get on here. Somebody intelligent. And as for this, as for this that I can't hold an argument with a dimble like you, <laughs> right? Argument, it's yeah. crazy, Over crazy. You've never even said anything yeah. intelligent when you've been on here. I've said plenty intelligent. Now you're going to get banned you if up. you're not careful. You you've never showed me up. I am not I a charlatan. I am a very yeah. intelligent man you compared with you. To be intelligent. Right? You pretend to be intelligent. If I had an IQ of 144, it would be equivalent to a gross of you. Uh, now, I've told you that before. You have an IQ of zero. Colin, we're talking about actually banning you here, so you're on very, very thin ice indeed. You are an empty head, sir. Look, you, Colin, have, you look, have no Colin, brains. Don't be so cheeky. In fact, you've got minus brains. Man, how dare you? Minus brains is what you've got, sir. How dare you? How dare I? How dare you talk to me like that? How dare I speak the truth? How dare you talk to me like that? It's, it's no problem. How dare you talk to me like that? What? Tracy! Hello, Scotty. I'd just like to say something about Colin. Yes. Why don't you just step in and get Colin your seat? Why would I want to do that? Oh, he's clever, Scotty. He's got your back up. He's eh? a dumbbell. He's got your back up. Would the nation want three hours of Colin every day? I think you might have some interesting things to say, I. Right, okay. So you want me to move over and go full time at the bakery? You call in your seat, definitely. Give him a seat. Aye. What about you? What about would you me? not like to do it? Um, no, I might. What, the bakery? No, Are I'm you? doing the bakery. I'm not giving over my bakery job because it pays a lot of money. But I'd give over this job if, I, if you thought that Colin would be more suitable. Aye, I think so. Okay. All right, darling. Aye. You Aye. might get Colin from Monday now. Right. Good. 
There you go. Right. If you prefer calling to do the phone in live on Scott FM, do give us a call. 1990-337-337. Let us know what you think. Freddie. You okay, my call? Yeah. Oh, dear. Right. Who have we got there? John. Oh, Scotty. Hello. How you doing? Uh, my big ball's getting married tomorrow, and I've recorded them a musical tribute. Oh, well, congratulations. David. Now then, Stephen. Oh, Scotty. Yes. And I've just started hanging out with these new boys. I've just moved to this town, right? And yep. they're uh, br out drinking every weekend. They're pressurising me into taking it. Well, don't be taking any of it, son. Uh, you, you just be a man like your uncle stop. Scotty and stand up and say, No, no, no! Diggy! <laughs> Mr. McClure. Yes? I'd just like to agree with that Tracy there. I think Colin should have his own phone in. Right. And I actually nominate myself as co-presenter. Co-presenter? as all your listeners will know, it gets a bit boring listening to the same guy <laughs> every day for 9 to 12. Right, so, so, no, this is fair enough. So are you saying I'm boring? Well, you, it can get a bit monotonous, Scotty, come on. Right. The same, uh, okay. same guy shouting and bawling at all these well, innocent well, that's, calls. That's fine, because I'm They've thinking... have got a very fair point to make, and oh, just because be you don't agree, you did not you didn't. Right, Brian. Hi, Scotty. I'd like to give my congratulations to Colin because he's so intelligent. Because this is Stephen again, because me and him are the best. I could be his co-presenter. Brian. On his new show. You're, no, a, you're a dumpling. This is... Mark, are you there, Mark? Uh, all right, Scotty. Yes. How dare Colin speak to you like that? How dare he? Um, you've got the brains of Scotland. I mean, who else would have the brains to get up in the morning, do a show, and make hundreds and thousands of people laugh? I mean, I respect you, Scotty. You say the nicest things. Jackie! Hello, Scotty. Yes? I think you should ban Colin for good. I think he should find more things to do with his time, like go looking for jobs or something, Aye. rather than wasting people's time listening to the likes of that. Quite right, darling. Louise! Good morning, Scotty. Yes, Louise. I'm following up about the dole sheets. Yep. I think the government should send out a form that if you don't mind dole sheets, you, you tick it and you can pay the tax to pay their dole money. If you do object it, if you're going to uh, grass them up, then you don't pay any tax. Now you're talking sense, Kim. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kim. This is the first time I've actually phoned your show. Oh, I love you. I love <laughs> I used to play your game in the Scouts, Kim's game. <laughs> It was just that this guy, Colin, I think he's actually spoiling it for all the, the rest of the listeners because of, instead of, I like listening to people's views and things, and he's spoiling it for everybody because the show's never really got off this morning. He just keeps phoning and interfering all the time. He just keeps making a nuisance of himself. He does, yes. You're absolutely and right. And I think he should be banned. We'll ban him. Thank you. All right, darling, we'll ban Bye. him. Well done. We're going to ban him. Right, give us a call, folks. 0990-337-337. A lot to talk about this. Okay. Hello. 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 I've been listening to your show all morning. Right. And I think you're quite cheeky. That's not a crime. They're not doing you for that. Well, no, you're not doing you for I think you're a cheeky pig. But that's none of your business. I, I think know, you're I a cheeky think pig. I think you used to have a bloody show. Why not? Don't swear on this program, you idiot. Don't call me an idiot. You're an idiot. No, you're a bloody idiot. Don't, will you stop swearing, you idiot? You call me an idiot again and I'll call you something worse. You're an idiot. Am I? Davey. Hi, Scotty. Yeah. Hi. Well, just a quick thing before I, uh, I mention what I'm on about. I think your lovable lassie's been on the hormone tablets, is she not? Well, that's very cheeky of you to point that out. Helen. Hello, Scotty. Yes. Uh, just to say, how dare, how dare that Colin speak to you in that manner? Quite right. I've been listening to you, Scotty, for day one. And as far as I'm concerned, that Colin is nothing but a waste of space and he will never, never lace your shoes. And as far as I'm concerned, if he ever takes over, my television will go back on in the morning and the radio will go off. Do you, right? think, do you think you get too much of a good thing? Would you be better with maybe one phone in a week, do you think? Scotty, I like to listen to, I, I listen to you in the night time. Right. And I never miss because I'm a late bedder, Scotty. Of course. And I listened to you, and it was a pleasure listening to you. And I was and a late bedder myself, you see. <laughs> and, it's, and during the day, no, Scotty, you be on every morning. You do the show you are doing. You are doing a brilliant job. That's kind you of you. never change, Scotty. That's kind of you, darling. Right. Bye, Scotty. I, I love you. Bye. 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 Tommy. How you doing, Scotty? Fine, Tom. Listen, it's uh, a bit Colin. Yes. Listen, see you next time he phones up. Just say to him, I'm not about to go into a battle of wits with an unarmed man. Quite right. I'm and I'll tell you this, Scotty. Yes, sir. Listen, you wear suits with higher IQs than him. 
<laughs> right, Dio. I love it. Right. See you now, Alex. Oh, hello there, Scotty. Hello, Alex. Oh, I'm just pulling up when you're saying that you've got to step aside and let this moron call and take your seat. Well, I'm, I can offer you a job if you want if you're any good at window cleaning. Brilliant. Do you like a job doing windows? I'm a great ringer out. Well, I hope you're no fear of the heights. I'm no fear of the heights because you just don't look down. Because we're doing the Scottish Widows. It's a, a job start, finish, start, finish if you're interested. Brilliant. You fancy it? Brilliant, Well, bring your scrims and your shammies and your applicators I'll, on Monday I'll, morning. I'll be up there with my applicators. Well, well there you are. You're a modern day window cleaner then. <laughs> Listen, Scotty, I just like to see your show's great, mate. Bless and, you. And uh, carry on with the good work. All the best to you. Right, cheers. You take care of yourself up these windies now. Listen, Scotty. Yes. Can I tell you a wee joke before I go? Yes, please. How can you spot a blind man in a nudist colony? A given. Well, it won't be hard. <laughs> Cheers a little bit. Hey, did you hear about the dwarf in the nudist camp? No. He stuck his nose into other folks' business and got a crack in the head. <laughs> Cheers, Scott. I'll see you later. <laughs> Emma. Oh. That's what I say. Alan. Hello, Scotty. Hello. I don't know what's happened to your show today, mate. It's just, it's not going off the ground. Everybody's giving you abuse, and uh, I think we're all a wee bit sick of this fella calling. It's, it's no good chat well, chat at all. Well, we're going to ban him. Well, I was off for banning him for a week, right? And uh, let, let him get a second chance, but he just spoiled it for himself, coming on repeatedly. You put a question to the nation, everybody's getting your answer and it just keeps coming on, so I think it should be a ban for a fortnight. Phone him up in a fortnight. I mean, I, I mean, quite genuinely, if the nation prefers calling, I would step aside and let him have a crack, you know? No, not at all. Phone him in a fortnight, see if he's learned the error of his ways. That's no, I, I, like. mean, I mean, I've got a nice wee job doing the bake house when I'm finished, Joe. Well, I'm sure you have, Scotty. Doing the rolls and pies. I think, I think you should just finish with it. There should be a last call on him. Phone him in a fortnight, see if he's learned. If no, he's a lifetime back. Kevin, are you there, Kevin? Hello? <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Hi, you know that calling guy? Yes. He needs a good wank. Certainly. Kevin, are you there, Agnes? Are you, Scotty? Yes. This is Agnes. Uh, is that calling at all? I'd, I'd ban him at off. I wouldn't let him back on it. Just ban him? Yes, ban him completely. It's terrible. Ter I'd, uh, terrible as I like your show. Thank you, darling. Right, thank you. Thank you very what? much. Right, Eileen. Um, Scotty, is it yeah. me? Eileen. Is it me? Eileen. Eileen, I was calling you Eileen. You have called me what you like, because you've got a right to today. They're all, never you mind about it then. That calling is absolutely nutty. Don't you see he's just playing himself a big laddie? Yes. That's all he's doing, and he's, he's so jealous of you, it's untrue. Terrible. He, what, he says, well, let him say what he likes. What, we don't, none of us care a damn. Nobody's bothered, he can say Not what he a likes. damn. But you're, you're far too much of a man to be bothered with that baby. I think I'll ban him. Yeah, ban him, altogether. Just for good. Uh-huh. Uh, you have a great time tonight. Finished away. Lovely to talk to you, darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, what a sweetie. What are you saying? Kisses. Are you away? Kisses. Two-Face. Two oh, kisses. Yeah. I thought you were calling me Two-Face there. Never. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Sandra. Is that Sandra? Hello. Hello, dear. Hello, Scotty. I work in an old folks home. Yes. And uh, we are delighted that you're doing so well for yourself after you wandered out ten years ago. Wandered out? Aye. <laughs> I was doing a lot better than I did when you were looking after me. Quite right, right. Good stuff. Now then, Kenny. Oh, Scotty. Hello, Kenny. How are you doing? I'm fine. I was just waiting for I'm just phoning up to say you're a talk man. Yeah, thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Now, Stephen. Hello, Scotty. Yes. I'd like to talk about Colin and his views. I agree wholeheartedly with him. I think it's a bit tight. Helen. Hello, Scotty. Yes, sir. Can I just say two things to you? Uh-huh. First of all, ban Colin. Right. And second of all, can you just say a big happy birthday to my mother, Helen Bullock, is eagle and in Motherwell? Of course I can. Now, Tracy. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Hi there, about Colin. Yeah. I think you should have him on the show. So I do a girl in the studio. Right. He's a great laugh. So yes. A great I'm laugh? The... Aye. And Tracy, tell me this, have you had a deprived childhood? No, because... Well, why would you find Colin a great laugh? Because he gives you a run for your money. 
Nothing. I'm not need to run for my money. Get him on the show. I'm not need to run for my money. Get him on the and show. And anybody that supports him should be a, get a lifetime ban as well. No way. Get him on the show. That's the first time I've listened to your show. Well, you should be banned. No way should I be banned. Yeah. All the people that want him banned. The first time all the years that I've been broadcasting and you've just found out about it now. I, what, I kind of, what kind of thicky are you? I usually work. You, you work? At least I, I work. I wouldn't let you work. Well, I do work. You're as thick as mince. No, get Colin back on. Don't be stupid. I like Colin. Don't be stupid. Oh, come on. You're yeah. the only person in Scotland that actually likes that him. That is no truth. It's fact. Robert. Hello there, Scotty. Yes. How's it doing? Fine, sir. Well, I was just about birth control. Yes. I'd just like to say that the mayor wasn't to call, the mayor will believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, and let's chit chat. Now, we Rab. Hello, Adolf. Hello, we Rab. How are you doing, son? Don't you be cheeky to me. Greg. Scotty. Yes. How are you? I'm dinky do. I think you're brilliant. You're enjoying it. Oh, you're marvellous. I want to pack you in my backpack and take you all back to New Zealand. I'd love to come back to New Zealand. Are you from North or South Island? The North Island. Brilliant. You are marvellous. I think, I think you're the best thing to fly spread. Do you know Auckland? Do I, I'm from Auckland. Do you know Matter Matter? I know Matter Matter. Brilliant. Ah, well, I'll tell you a wee joke, Scotty. Yes. Did hear Winnie Mandela died? No, I'm, 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 that's not funny. Ross. Oh, Scotty. Yes. Harry, uh, I just want to talk about women drivers. Yes. They're terrible. Driving up the road. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stuart. Hi, Scotty. Hi. Right, uh, I want to first of all get it straight that your show's really good, mate, right? But uh, I think you could maybe have it a wee bit better, right? And the way if you have a, some sort of wee debate show in the morning, right, with, with Collins, Stephen and me on it, I think you'd be a, quite a good show. Well, you think? why would I want a dunderhead like Colin on my show? Right, I know, I know. You keep and on, you Stephen keep, no, and you. You keep on saying, hey, you call me a dunderhead. Yes. John. How's it going? I'm fine. Uh, hey, I want to talk about the, uh, about the dolchies. Right. Hey, I'm one. Hey. You're one. Hey. Right. Well, I don't want to talk to a cheat. Hey. People who take mouths, people who take food out of, of children's mouths. You should be ashamed. You should turn yourself into the police hey, and get the banged up. Hey? Hey, wait. You should turn yourself into the police. I hey, like one dear. Yes, no problem, Sonny. They hey, won't open it in. No bother at all. Aye. And I'd run you right into that police station and bang you up for ten years. I can bump you able to go. You're a thief. I saw my Simon! Simon! Hello, Scotty! Yeah? I'd just like to talk about Colin. Colin! I think you should get him on the show. Why? Because, um, you'll hear his point of view and all that, eh? Nobody wants to hear his point of view. He's as thick as you. Hello? So, Hello? Peter, yes? Uh, Scotty, I think you should get keep Colin on the show. Why? Eh, because it's good debate for everybody. Could debate for everybody. He doesn't know how it's to. Unfair. He doesn't know how to debate. John. Hello, Scotty. Yes, John. I'd like to. I don't want a confrontation or anything. Uh, but, no problem then. But I'd like to put an end to this uh, Scotland England divide thing once and for all. Quite right. Well, I've lived in both countries. My work has taken me from one country to the other, and I must say that in 20 years of living here, I do not appreciate this country. Supposedly, the people are friendly. I have not experienced that at all. What is this? England? No, in Scotland. In Scotland? Yes, I mean... You I don't think the Scots are friendly? No, I don't think so, and I don't... I think... I mean, I think that England is really the far nicer country to live in. Right, what part of England? The north or the south? It was the south. The south, right. Whereabouts? It was down in Kent. Kent, right. Uh -huh. So you would say it's a far nicer place yeah, to live? Yeah, and I mean, I mean, I really think that Scotland is merely, really a subsidiary of England. Right. I mean, the country is governed from there. And, I mean, I don't think that Scotland, as an independent state, has anything to offer us. Right, so uh, you, don't, you don't want to see an independent Scotland, in fact, well, you, I mean, I don't you would rather move out of Scotland as soon as possible. Well, yeah, I'd like to, but, I mean, I don't think Scotland could handle being independent, know what I mean? Why, why, why not, can I ask? Well, I just don't think, I honestly don't think you, you're intelligent enough, the people here. The Scots are not intelligent Yeah, I, I don't think so. Right. What, what, in what way do they lack intelligence, would you say, compared with England? Well, I mean, you see on the TV all the time, I mean, the mentality of the Scottish people. I mean, and, I mean, listening to your show this morning, people like Colin this morning. Yep. 
I mean, uh, that, that's the kind of, I mean... But, you... I don't, but with all due respect to you, I don't think that Collins uh, is not reflective of all the people of Scotland. There's yeah. a lot of people in Scotland brighter than Colin. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, point. I know there's a number of dunderheads who've come on and supported him. Uh -huh. But there's a lot of people who are, are much brighter than Yeah, him. right. People like Stephen and stuff. I mean, but the, yeah, I've got some support. Well, Stephen's not bright. Stephen's not bright either. Certainly not. Stephen's another dunderhead. Yeah. I have to See, agree there. I mean, all these, all these mates of Collins who are phoning, they're all dunderheads. Yeah, I have no qualms with you, Scott. You seem a very intelligent man no, to me. No, you and I are absolutely fine. There's no problem. Okay, right. Good talking to you, Lovely Scott. Lovely to talk to you. Right, bye. Bye now. Right, give us a call, folks. Do you agree with that? 0990-337-337. There's a gentleman saying that uh, the Scots, as a race, are not intelligent, that Scotland couldn't handle independence, and that England is a better place to live in general. Tell us what you think about it. Dougie! Hello, Scotty. Hello, Dougie. I'm going to have this Colin character, right? Yes. Uh, just to tell you, his name is Colin, by the way. Ah, right. I thought that. Jim. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hi. I don't think his name's Colin. I think it's Colin. Cool. Right, colon. <laughs> Mark, are you there? I think it's semicolon. Mark? Hello. Hello. It's just about this colon character. Yes. Um, could you know broadcast his phone number, Scotty, so we can waste his more than the way he's wasted everybody else's? And everybody can phone him up. Uh, do you think he's spoiled the program? I, I really do. I've been listening to you for the last two or three weeks now. Right. And I really enjoy your show. But he's, he's just totally wasted it, because that's what the, the programme's been taken up with. And I'm just as bad for phoning, and I suppose completely. Well, no, it. no, I mean, I think it's something we have to sort out, because Colin, I'm just using as an example, there are several Collins hang about, you know, people who have been rejected by the education system, people who have been rejected socially, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's quite good to sort out what we would do with them on the programme, so that I think if we can give over enough time in this programme to sorting Colin out, then we'll know the next time a dunderhead comes on. Uh, true enough. Well, as see? long as this is the last day he gets his platform, he's sort of, he's 15 minutes of glory, you know. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to be giving him glory. No. I mean, we just want to say, look, I mean, he was actually wanting to take over the show and get rid of me. No, I, I, I couldn't see that happening. Well, you never know. I mean, stranger things have happened. No. I mean, it wouldn't worry me. I've got a wee job down at the bakery, as yeah, I say, I doing the that, balls I, and the pies. I, so, I, I mean, I, I could get by. That's you know, true. I mean, I could get by without the show, but the thing is, uh, you know, do you want Colin on every day, or do you want the phone in on once a week? No, I, I think this morning was enough for Colin, and I think we should get back to normal on Monday. Okay. And I hope you don't go back to the bakery for good. Back to the bakery for good. Bless you, sir. Right, cheery. Cheery by now. Cheery, cheery. Robert? Are you there, Robert? Yeah, I've got two points, Scotty. Yeah, one at a time, then. Right, the, the first one, that English guy. Oh, we should send him back down the road, eh? Do you think so? Do you think he had a point there? He was saying that he'd listened to the programme and he felt the Scots weren't very intelligent. Scotty, I, I think you were stupid and allowing him too much time. Know that you are stupid. Now can I move on to Colin? Yes. I think we should send him up to Aberdeen to this Tory conference because I believe that's where they're talking about a giggly gook. Right, so send him up there, giggly gook. Right, Eddie. Hello, Scotty. Hello. I've got a wee joke for you. Let's call him a conference in Aberdeen and talk giggly gook. Yes. Why do women have legs? I'm not allowing you to say, Jamie. Scotty, you should ban Colin. Just he's ban just, him? Uh, he's just daft. He's uh, in the name of Scotland in the mud. He's a troublemaker. He's a disgrace. I uh, should just ban him. Ban the man altogether. Mark. Oh, Scotty. Hello, Mark. Congratulations of respect to you. Your show is absolutely brilliant. Are you enjoying it? Yes. Now, there's a lot of people saying it's been rubbish this morning because of this Colin. Yes, that's what I was going to say. His name is not Colin. And we know who he is, and we're going to take a team round his house and give him a take, good take his phone off the hook. Give, give him a good tanning. Yes. <laughs> right job, David. Hi, Scott. Hello, David. Hi, listen, I was just going to ask you something. There was a guy on the phone from Mary Hill earlier on saying, talking about the war. Yes. And he was saying that uh, he got his backside shot off for guys like you. Yes. And you said you weren't there. Yes. You, you weren't around. I wasn't around. No, well, if you're 58, that means you were born in 1938. I'm not 58. Well, you tell everybody you are. I've never told them that. I'll be 19 my next birthday. Eh? I'll be 19 my next birthday. <laughs> aye, right, aye, Don't very you good. be listening to any of that aye, rubbish. Very good, aye. Very good, eh? Plus, you got here. Alan, are you there, Alan? Yes, Scotty, good morning. Good morning, sir. Can I lay down a challenge to that man from England, please? Yes. 
get him back on the phone and get him to explain where that country called England would be if intelligent Scots like the people who invented penicillin, television, uh, telephone, Rubble and also tire, a Scot it, was also, it was also a Scotsman who founded the Bank of England. So obviously he's saying that the Scots aren't intelligent, so as far as I'm concerned, he's the one that's not intelligent, Scotty. He's an idiot. What do you think? Yes, I think that's a very, very fair point. I think you're definitely intelligent. You've certainly got my vote. Well, thanks very much. But I think these I guys... Be I better let you get away on up to the conference, eh? Oh, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Gordon. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Um, I bet that Englishman that was just on. Yes, sir. Um, tell him I'll pay his bus fare. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gosh, you used to be about seven pound fifty to get shot of an Englishman. Oh. Send them, send them down in the overnight. He wants every penny. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Scotty? I'm Dinky. I want like to talk to you about car crime. Yes. Right, my mum and my mates have had their car stolen recently. Um, Terrible. And they've all been trying to find these alarms and stuff for the gimmicks to get the your car stopped for stop getting stolen. Yes. I've come up with a good idea. Yeah. They should all have them wired up to the mains. Take the engine out. No, it's not. Well, in actual fact, you can't wire them up to the mains because then you would be guilty of a crime. Ah, what crime? They're stealing my motor. Have they got shocked? Aye. Ah, they wouldn't do it again, but... No, they wouldn't, but then you'd be in the nick. Ah, uh, well, uh, See, a, you've got ah, a good point there, aye. That's right? a fair point, isn't it? Stephen! Well, Scotty. Yes? Aye, I'm not a dunderhead. You were talking about me earlier. Colin is excellent. He is Colin a, he is puts a dumbhead. You, he puts Stephen, you in your place. Stephen, look. you in your place. Look, it's not a question of you putting me in my place. Out. Stephen, it's not a question of putting me in my place, right? Colin's a dumbhead. You're, you're out of there. People want you out. Who wants me out? Everybody. Everybody wants me yeah, out. Yeah, you this. listen to the Colin. They're all supporting Colin. Everybody's supporting Colin. Colin. Get out of there. Stephen. Go back to your bakery. Stephen, you're, Come an, on. you're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. You're a dumbhead. No. Then, <laughs> now then, John. Hello. Yes. I was going to talk about old age pensioners. Yeah. But I'd like to talk about earthquakes. Yes. If there's an earthquake in Falkirk tonight, because you're done. John. You'll be done from Falkirk. John, don't, don't be cheeky. John. Hello, Scotty. Hello. When I was on earlier, I did not mean to offend any of the Scottish nation. And I would hope not. No, and some of the people did say, well, like, well I've been hearing what they've been saying, and they've said, get him back on. Yes. And I do not wish to be confrontational, but I will take any of those arguments on an intellectual level. That's very good of you. Donald! Hello, Scotty. Hello. Listen, I've, I've been listening to your program very closely. Your nighttime one and your, you know, your morning one now. Yeah. And enjoy it great. It's great. It's terrific. But I must, I must take issue with that English gentleman there. Yes. Uh, he's and just, I, I think he's just been back on. I know he was back on there. And I think you're losing your head there, Scotty. I should have got the two. Are you talking to him? You should have ripped right into him. Because no, no, well, I, well, no, I wanted to hear what he was going to say. I could have ripped into him. Oh, did you bother? But you're becoming too to diplomatic, Scotty. No, no, no. I wanted to hear what he was going to say. Aye, but you're too diplomatic. No. You well, know what I mean in the morning? Well, you need to be diplomatic sometimes. No, but I mean, I mean, I, 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 I am a very diplomatic man. But you just let him go away with spiel and that, and, and you never sort of countered them. And no, I'm a bit no, disappointed no, 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 in you, no, Scott. No, listen, listen, you're missing the point. I wanted, why should I do all the fighting when there's people like you who are more than fit enough to help? Aye, but you're the spokesman for us. Aye, but wait a minute, you're on speaking for yourself now. So, you shouldn't be attacking me. If you don't agree with him, then you should be getting torn into him. I'm not attacking you, I'm just saying you're lost in your head. You should have ripped... No, I mean, listen, a man, I, a man listen, can go to your program and tell... I beg your pardon. I don't lose my edge. A man can go to your program and say Scotsman isn't intelligent. No, no, wait a minute. I object to you saying I've lost my edge. Well, I was a bit I, disappointed well, there. Well, I'm afraid that's your fault then for not coming on and seeing your bit. Well, I'm seeing the bit. Well, I haven't lost my head, then. I'm saying my bed. So that's you and I quits. Jim. Hello. I'd just like to say it about the English guy. But like, do you not think Scotland's the first country to discover oil and become poorer? Fiona. Hello, Scotty. It's Fiona from Glasgow. Fiona from Glasgow? Hi. Hello, hi, Ken. Um, see that guy Colin that was on? Yes. Why did? Why were you so horrible to him? I think he talked a lot of sense. He talked a lot more sense than you do. Don't be so stupid, love it. Uh, why don't you well, grow up? I've listened to your show for a good few months. You're a clown. Why don't you go and grow up? 
Why don't you just move what? over and let him take over? Because we don't want to take Because they just you can't let a lot of videos like you on. Because they've let a lot of videos like you on. Oh, stop it. But if you listen to him. What do you mean, have I ever listened to Eva Bob? Of course I have. You should listen to him and have more heart and instead of cutting people what off all the time. Oh, shut your gob. Oh, shall we? Arlene. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Um, I've been listening to you this morning about the war. Yes. If a war broke out tomorrow, would you be able to fight for us, the country? I'd be able to fight, but would, would I just be on my Todd? <laughs> would, would you not be helping? Oh, I I'd would be you, Would I. you join the fannies? Oh, I. Eh? I, I and I, I help out? Aye, but see the last time you were talking about the war, yes. you get took off the night show. So hopefully this time you'll get took off the air. No, why? Why but are you such a nasty piece of work? Because you're a numpty. Well, that's a terrible thing to say, and I don't think a wee dumpling like you is qualified to talk to me like that. So I think you should apologise. Oh, no, no, I no. I think you should say, I'm very sorry, Scotty. Oh, I'm very sorry, Scotty. Thank you, that's better. Now, I hope you'll be back soon. Right. No, Andrew. Scotty, just a very quick uh, word to say to you. Don't ever give up your show. If it wasn't spot on, you wouldn't have the fastest growing show in the north of the Tay. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye now. We shug. Hi, Scotty. How you doing? There's a bit of an English guy that was on earlier on. Ah. Things were all stupid. Yes. Um, I think somebody should just turn them south and tell them to keep going. There's nothing to keep them here. And he should grab that Colin guy on the way and take him with him. Take him, and what was his other mate, Stephen, and all these other Well, the rest of them, aye, they're all Egypt, Scott. All these wee Egypts. Aye. Get them all away. Yeah, keep up the good work, big man. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Stephen. Hello, Scotty. Hello. You know the Englishman from Kent? Yes. You know, he said that uh, all Scotchmen, all Scottishmen were uh, idiots or something. Yes. Right, and you said that he must have got the idea from Colin and Stephen. Yes. Right, well, Stephen's actually English, because this is me, and you're, you're the stupid... Mary. Mary, Mary. Hello. Quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Fine, thank you. Lovely, dear. D do you not, are you not on at night now? Uh, no, no, I've not been on at nights for a wee while now. Oh, I see. I wondered. I, I, Is I, have, very you been, have you been listening every night? Yes, just recently. And I haven't come on? No, there's a very nice gentleman oh. on at night. Oh, there's a nice gentleman on. Oh, well. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that'll be, that'll be good. I wondered what had happened to you. No, I, I, I um, just found out this morning that you're in the mornings. I'm in the mornings now, dear. Does nobody keep you up to date? Oh. Some of the nurses not tell you. No. No? I, the nurses should tell you what's going on in Scotland. That's right. I've been I've been uh, on here now for three months. Oh, I didn't know that. Have you been out of touch? Yes. Have you been in the nick? No. <laughs> no. No, I just don't know. Don't listen a great deal. Oh, well, you must listen, darling, otherwise you'll not know what's going on. But, but tell me, Scotty, why are you being so rude to some people? Oh, I'm never rude to anyone. Oh, you, you, oh this morning you've been shouting at Oh, I've been shouting at one or two stupid people, sweetie, but I oh, wouldn't shoot. shout at you. Oh. No, but you'll need to listen uh, and, and, and more in the morning. Yes. I mean, how do you know I, I've been rude today if you've only heard me? Because uh, I've only heard you this morning. Well, you don't know. Maybe I'm like this all the time. Maybe I've been very nice this no, morning. No, no, I heard you the other day too. I heard you about three days oh, ago. were you telling me a wee fib there? And I thought, my goodness, this man's awfully rough and coarse and... Coarse a wee, but I am rough, the darling. I was brought up rough. I'm uh, as rough as a crab swartz, eh? Oh, I see. Oh, there's yeah. a reason for it. Well, I mean, of course there's a reason. Would you think I do this for fun? No. No, no. I mean, there's a reason. I mean, you're rough. I don't think so. Oh, you're rough, darling. You're very rough. I can hear it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Are you from the Garbles? No, I'm from Edinburgh. Oh, from Edinburgh? Yes. Oh, that's a rough place. Oh. Oh, it's as rough as sandpaper on the bottom of a budgie's cage. Oh. I oh, didn't, yes. I didn't realize that. Oh, no wonder. No wonder you're rough if you're from Edinburgh. What a place that is. Is it? Oh, I thought it was beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful as well, but it's still rough, darling. I mean, you know, that's what the Scots are like. They're rough and beautiful. Oh, I see. You know, I mean, you like rough, beautiful people, don't you? No. No? No, not when they're coarse and rough. Have no. you got a silver spoon in your gob? No, dear, no, no, no. Eh? No, no, not at all. <laughs> are you a wee bit better than the rest of us? No, no, not at all. I think you've got a wee side to you. No, I haven't. I think you're posh. No, I like everybody. I do promise. Yes. Well, that's not so bad then, because I like you. Right, thank you. Even although you're rough, you're nice. Oh, 
and never knew I was rough before. Oh, you're as rough as get out, but you're lovely. Right. You're a character. Uh huh. A real Scottish lady. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, darling, stick your tongue out and say ta ta. Ta ta. Mama. <laughs> right. Jim. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hello, it's just about this fellow for England. Yes. Now, have you ever heard the wee story, Who's Like Us? Was Like Us. Right. I'd like to read that out if it's possible. Go on. Okay. Well, this is for him. Uh, the average Englishman in the home he calls his castle slips into his national costume, a shabby raincoat patented by chemist Charles Mackintosh from Glasgow. En route to his office, he strides along the English lane, surfaced by John McAdam of Air. He drives an English car fitted by Eng with English tyres invented by John Boyd Dunlop of Dreghorn. At the office, he receives a mail bearing a deed of stamps invented by James Chalmers of Dundee, Scotland. During the day, he uses a telephone again invented by Alexander Graham Bell, born in Edinburgh. At home in the evening, his daughter pedals a bicycle invented by Kirkpatrick McMillan, blacksmith of Dumfries. He watches the news on TV, an invention of John Logie Baird of Helensburgh, Scotland, and hears an item about the US Navy, founded by John Paul Jones of Kirkbean. He has now been reminded too much of Scotland, and in desperation he picks up the Bible, only to find that the first man mentioned in the good book is a Scot, King James VI, who authorised the translation. Nowhere can an Englishman turn to escape the ingenuity of the Scots. He could take a drink, but the Scots make the best in the world. He could take a rifle and end it all, but the breech rifle was invented by Captain Patrick Ferguson of Pitfour, Scotland. If he escaped death, he would find himself in an operating table injected with penicillin discovered by Alexander Fleming of Darville, Scotland, and given an and discovered by and given an anaesthetic discovered by Sir James Young Simpson of Bathgate, Scotland. And out of the anaesthetic, he would find no comfort in learning that he was as safe as the Bank of England, again founded by William Patterson of Dumfries, Scotland. Perhaps his only remaining hope would be to get a transfusion of good Scottish blood. We would entitle him to ask, who's like us? So that's for him. That's absolutely fabulous. Could, could I put you on to the lovable lassie and you'll send me a wee copy? Yeah, sure, uh -huh. Okay, thanks very much for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Brilliant. You're a genius. There we are, lovable lassie. Have a wee word with that man, please. Now then, John. 